Welcome. This presentation shows one how to manually develop a complete wafer level chip scale package footprint design from an EPC product datasheet. The footprint design process makes it easy to enter into any PCB CAD system. Footprint design basics are reviewed given that EPC footprints are very different than most component footprints. EPC footprint design agenda. We will be covering the following topics in this presentation. Footprint basics, where we'll cover EPC footprint types, BGA, LGA, and mixed. Footprint terminology. We'll also cover the data sheet footprint design information. Footprint details, such as solder mass defined land pad design, solder mass defined land pad benefits, copper pad design, silk screen design, stencil design, 3D model mechanical data, and we'll do an example footprint design. And at the end, we'll have additional footprint and assembly resources. EPC parts are wafer level chip scale packages or chip scale package parts. The footprints are LGA on the left, BGA on the right, or a mixture of the two in the center. All footprints are designed using metric units of one micrometer. Footprint terminology. Footprint terminology is very important because EPC footprints are different from your typical footprint designs. Pitch, pin spacing between pad centers. Copper pad, a pad that matches general shape of pin terminal, used in construction of a lamp pad. Lamp pad, otherwise known as a solder pad, is the exposed portion of a copper pad that's used for solder joint connection. PCB layer registration accuracy. The maximum physical layer to layer misalignment tolerance. This is your error definition for the entire design. Stencil, a layer that defines the amount of solder paste to be applied to the lamp pads, typically printed on a very thin stainless steel sheet. Stencil release, the stencil's ability to consistently transfer required solder paste to lamp pads. And finally, solder mass defined, a lamp pad whose shape is defined by solder mass layer. We'll expand on that later. Data sheet footprint design information. The footprint information is found on the last page of the data sheet. This is where everything starts. Data sheet lamp pad design information. The lamp pad information is the starting point for the whole footprint design. It defines the shape and size of the solder mass defined land pads, but do not make the mistake that the copper pad itself is 230 micrometers in diameter as shown here. It must be larger than the land pad. Data sheet stencil design information. Stencil designs are specific to the type of solder paste to maximize stencil release. It is not recommended you modify the stencil design in any way. If you must use a different type of solder paste, contact the EPC for a stencil design. Complete EPC 2045 BGA footprint design. By looking at this footprint design, we can see some unique differences from traditional footprint designs. First, a broken pin one silkscreen marking. Two, a rectangular rounded corner copper pad, even for a BGA footprint. A solder mass defined line pad, and finally, a broken line silk screen. Lamp pad design comparison. To best understand what a solder mass defined lamp pad looks like, we need to compare it to a traditional lamp pad. We start with a common copper pad for both designs. Next, we add a solder mass layer. With a non solder mass defined pad, the solder mass does not contact the outer perimeter of the copper pad. The entire copper pad becomes the lamp pad. With a solder mass defined pad, the solder mass contacts and overlaps the outer perimeter of the copper pad. The smaller remaining portion of the copper pad becomes the lamp pad. Solder mass defined lamp pad benefits. 
fine pitch footprint lamp heads are sensitive to physical layer registration accuracy. Solder Mask Define offers precise lamp pad area definition for consistent production solder joint connection. A non-solder mask def uh, defined lamp pad will allow the limited solder paste to escape the lamp pad site, creating an undersized solder joint. The term solder mask def expansion defines how the solder mask will physically relate to the copper pad. A positive value is a non-solder mask overlap. A negative value is a solder mask overlap. EPC footprint design unknowns. There are two sets of calculations that need to be completed. First is pin center coordinates. The second is copper pad size. The pin centers are a straightforward exercise. However, the copper pad size has multiple considerations. Copper pad design, size constraints. There are two physical constraints. First is the largest size shall not violate IPC 2221 electrical spacing requirements. Second, the smallest size shall be symmetrically larger than the lamp pad size by the registration tolerance as a value adder. Copper pad IPC 2221 spacing. IPC 2221 is the generic standard on PCB board design. Section 6 defines electrical spacing between conductors. The table shown is a consolidated version of Table 6-1 specifically for conductor spacing under solder mask. Section 6.3.4 defines a permanent polymer coating, in other words solder mask, as an electrical insulator. Spacing is based on the voltage potential difference between pins. Source versus drain, gate versus drain, gate versus source. The substrate pin you treat as a source pin. Note that not all EPC FETs have this pin. Also note IPC 2221 has large step values, EPC linear scale spacing between 100 and 300 volts on some parts. Footprint design. What does EPC recommend? First, establish a fabrication registration accuracy. EPC uses plus or minus 50 micrometers, 100 micrometers total shift, or plus or minus 2 mils for all layers. Place it in the fabrication instructions and note that it includes the solder mask. Second, copper pad design order of importance. Start with a square or rectangular land pad, whose minimum spacing starts at 130 micrometers or greater per IPC 2221 that is expanded as large as possible with 100 micrometers being the goal. It has a corner radius 25% of the narrowest pad dimension. Third, use EPC lamp pad design on top of the copper pad. And fourth, use the EPC stencil design without modification. Silk screen design. The mechanical drawing shows a side view of one of EPC's lowest profile FETs. The FET height is 100 micrometers above the FR4 board. Silk screen height on top of solder mask height can act as a perimeter dam that traps contaminants or blocks the jet wash from clearing out under the underside. Dashing the silk screen line allows wash access and drainage. Silk screen and jet washing. This drawing shows how the jet wash can pass the silkscreen dam and exit out the other side. Three D model mechanical data. The data sheet's last page provides part mechanical data to create a three D model. When EPC begins to offer independent three D models of its products, they will be found on a device model webpage. Currently, 3D models are only available within the APC Altium library available on the same web page. More information about APC model page will be covered at the end of this presentation. EPC 2014C Footprint Design Example. Step one from datasheet. We have a 40 volt foot, which defines the spacing. 
We have LGA LAN pads. The small one is 180 by 296 with 90 micrometer radius ends. The large is 180 by 814 with 90 micrometer ends. Pin pitch is shown in the data sheet. In the X direction, all the pins are 400 micrometers. In the Y direction, we only have the gate and substrate pins, which are at 507. Step two, calculate pin centers. Use of the center of the body is zero, zero for pick and place machine compatibility. Manually enter these precise pin locations in your CAD footprint generator. You will know that the pads are truly on the centers independent of your grid system. Step three, calculate rectangular copper pad dimensions for the X direction. Given this is a 40 volt FET, the IPC 2221 spacing is 130 micrometers. In the X direction, all the pads will have the same width. The maximum possible pad width is 270 micrometers. The desired pad width size is 280 micrometers. The difference is minus 10 micrometers, which is very small. Since spacing is a higher priority, use 270 micrometers for the width. The pad width is the narrowest pad dimension. Therefore, the corner radius becomes 67.5. Step four, calculate rectangular copper pad dimensions for Y direction. For the source or drain pad length, the desired size is 914 micrometers. No other constraints apply. For the gate and substrate pad lengths, the maximum pad size is 377. The desired pad size is 396. The difference is minus 19 micrometers, which is again very small. Since spacing is a higher priority, use 377 micrometers for the pad length. Step five, enter file copper pad design. By making a drawing, you'll make it easy to enter the pad sizes into your PCB CAD system for all of the pins. Step six, Enter datasheet solder max design. Step seven, enter dash silk screen. Step eight, enter datasheet stencil design. The finished footprint is shown. This completes the footprint design. Footprint resources online. The EPC website has everything you need for design. Click the design support web menu. Choose application notes. On the application notes webpage, you will find GAN design and assembly support and how to opt outs. The key documents are shown on the right. The EPC Altium part library is also available on the same website. Click design support, web menu, choose device models. On the device models webpage, you will find all the EPC models. This concludes this video presentation from EPC.